Question. What is the role of duodenal drainage tubes in managing duodenal injury? Answer. Duodenal drainage tubes can be placed to divert duodenal contents away from the repair. Site. Allowing healing and preventing leakage. They are often temporary measures. Question. How can the risk of anastomotic stricture be managed after duodenal injury repair? Answer. Regular surveillance. And interventions such as endoscopic dilation help manage anastomotic strictures that may develop after duodenal injury repair. Question. What are the common causes of duodenal injury? Answer. Duodenal injury can result from blunt or penetrating trauma, motor vehicle accidents, falls, and surgical procedures involving the abdomen. Question. How is duodenal injury severity assessed? Answer, duodenal injury severity is often assessed based on the depth of injury, extent of tissue involvement, and associated injuries using grading systems such as the American Association for the Surgery of Trauma ASC Organ Injury Scale. Question, what are the clinical signs and symptoms of duodenal injury? Answer, clinical signs of duodenal injury may include abdominal pain, tenderness, distension, Guarding, peritonitis signs, vomiting blood hematemesis, and abdominal rigidity. Question, how can duodenal injury be assessed during a physical examination? Answer, physical examination findings for duodenal injury may include epigastric tenderness, guarding, rebound tenderness, and signs of peritoneal irritation. Question, what imaging studies are commonly used to diagnose duodenal injury? Answer, imaging studies such as abdominal ultrasound, contrast-enhanced computed tomography CT scans, and diagnostic peritoneal lavage DPL can help diagnose and evaluate the extent of duodenal injury. Question, what is the initial management approach for a stable patient with suspected duodenal injury? Answer, the initial management approach for a stable patient with suspected duodenal Injury involves pain management, fasting, close monitoring of hemodynamic status, and diagnostic imaging studies. Question, what is the primary concern in managing duodenal injury? Answer, the primary concern in managing duodenal injury is controlling bleeding, preventing infection, and minimizing the risk of leakage, perforation, and subsequent complications. Question, how does the management approach differ between non-operative and surgical management of duodenal injury? Answer, non-operative management is considered for minor injuries or those with minimal symptoms, while surgical management is indicated for severe injuries, significant contamination, and associated complications. Question, what are the indications for surgical intervention in duodenal injury? Answer, indications for surgical intervention in duodenal injury include hemodynamic instability, significant bleeding, full thickness perforation, and associated injuries requiring surgical exploration. Question, how is duodenal perforation repaired surgically? Answer, duodenal perforation is repaired surgically by isolating and repairing the perforation, debriding necrotic tissue, and providing a tension-free closure. Question, what is the role of tissue sealants in managing duodenal injury repair? Answer, tissue sealants can be used to reinforce sutures, seal small leaks, and enhance the integrity of duodenal repairs, reducing the risk of leakage. Question, how can the risk of infection be minimized in duodenal injury management? Answer, administering antibiotics, practicing meticulous surgical technique, maintaining sterile conditions, and effective wound care help minimize the risk of infection in duodenal injury management. Question, what is the role of duodenal decompression in managing duodenal injury? Answer, duodenal decompression involves placing a nasogastric tube to remove duodenal contents and relieve distension, which is important in managing duodenal injuries to prevent further compromise. Question, what is the significance of abdominal compartment syndrome in duodenal? Injury? Answer, abdominal compartment syndrome, which involves increased intra-abdominal pressure, can develop as a complication of duodenal injury. Timely decompressive measures are essential to prevent organ dysfunction. 
Question, how can the risk of duodenal necrosis be managed after duodenal injury repair? Answer, adequate blood supply, meticulous surgical technique, and minimizing ischemia during repair help prevent duodenal necrosis and subsequent complications. Question, what is the significance of duodenal stricture in duodenal injury repair? Answer, duodenal stricture can develop as a complication of duodenal injury repair leading to obstruction and subsequent symptoms. Surveillance and interventions are necessary to manage this complication. Question, how can the risk of anastomotic leakage be managed after duodenal injury repair? Answer, proper surgical technique, tension-free closure, tissue sealants, and drainage help minimize the risk of anastomotic leakage after duodenal injury repair. Question, what is the significance of duodenal fistula in duodenal injury repair? Answer, duodenal fistula, an abnormal communication between the duodenum and surrounding structures can lead to leakage, infection, and other complications. Efforts are made to prevent and manage fistulas. Question, how does the management approach differ between blunt and penetrating duodenal injuries? Answer, blunt duodenal injuries are often managed conservatively, while penetrating injuries may require surgical exploration and repair. Question, what is the role of tissue coverage techniques in managing duodenal injury repair? Answer, tissue coverage techniques, such as omeniplasty or local flaps, can be used to provide vascularized tissue over the repair site, promoting healing and preventing leakage. Question, how can duodenal injury be managed in patients with coexisting medical conditions? Answer, managing duodenal injury in patients with coexisting medical conditions requires a comprehensive approach, considering the impact of the condition on treatment and outcomes. Question, what is the significance of iatrogenic duodenal injury? Answer, iatrogenic duodenal injury can occur as a complication of medical procedures. Timely recognition and appropriate management are essential to prevent complications. Question, how can the risk of abdominal abscess formation be minimized after endoscopic? Procedures? Answer, proper sterilization, endoscope reprocessing, and post-procedure care instructions help minimize the risk of abdominal abscess formation after. Endoscopic procedures? Question, what is the role of duodenal drainage tubes in managing duodenal? Injury? Answer, duodenal drainage tubes can be placed to divert duodenal contents away from the repair site, allowing healing and preventing leakage. They are often temporary measures. Question, how can the risk of anastomotic stricture be managed after duodenal injury repair? Answer, regular surveillance. And interventions such as endoscopic dilation help manage anastomotic strictures that may develop after duodenal injury repair. Question, what is the significance of duodenal ischemia in delayed complications of duodenal injury? Answer, duodenal ischemia can lead to delayed complications such as necrosis, perforation, or stricture formation after duodenal injury repair. Monitoring for signs of ischemia is important. Question, how can the risk of duodenal leakage be managed after endoscopic procedures? Answer, proper patient education, adherence to post-procedure care instructions, and close monitoring for signs of leakage help manage the risk of duodenal leakage after. Endoscopic procedures. Question, what is the role of duodenal manometry in evaluating duodenal injury? Answer, duodenal manometry assesses duodenal function and motility, providing valuable information about the functional status of the duodenum following. Injury. Question, how can the risk of duodenal ischemia be managed during surgical repair? Answer, minimizing ischemia time, preserving adequate blood supply, and careful tissue handling help manage the risk of duodenal ischemia during surgical repair. Question, what is the significance of post-operative duodenal hemorrhage? Answer, post-operative duodenal hemorrhage can occur due to bleeding vessels or inadequate hemostasis. Prompt identification and intervention are necessary to prevent complications. Question, how can the risk of duodenal fistula formation be minimized after endoscopic procedures? 
Answer, proper patient education, adherence to post-procedure care instructions, and close monitoring for signs of leakage help manage the risk of duodenal fistula formation after. Endoscopic procedures. Question, what is the role of tissue coverage techniques in managing? Duodenal injury repair? Answer, tissue coverage techniques, such as omeniplasty or local flaps, can be used to provide vascularized tissue over the repair site, promoting healing and preventing leakage. Question, how can the risk of abdominal abscess formation be minimized after endoscopic? Procedures? Answer, proper sterilization, endoscope reprocessing, and post-procedure care instructions help minimize the risk of abdominal abscess formation after. Endoscopic procedures.